Hello and welcome to the vlog. Today is a rare day for January in as much as the sun is shining, the sky is blue, it is forecast for no rain and the temperatures are quite mild. We've had loads of chilly days, chilly nights, but today randomly is quite decent. And so I've decided to seize the day and have a go at putting in the rear windows on the van. This means cutting a hole, well two holes actually, that one and that one, and then squidging the windows onto the metalwork with this very very sticky window adhesive uh, they give you. A little bit nervous about it but slightly buoyed by having done the hole for the roof vent so I'm hoping I don't get overconfident and I'm going to try and take it step by step and hope that all will be well. When I mentioned I was going to do this in it was either the first or the second vlog. I did have a few messages from people saying, don't do the windows yourself, you'll mess it up, you'll ruin your van, so on and so forth. And the thing is, the whole point of this project is that it is a project to see if I can do this myself. I don't want to farm it out to other people and get someone in to do the windows and someone in to do the insulation and someone to build the furniture. The whole idea of the project is to have a go myself. And yes, I might totally cock it up. I understand that. I realise that. It is possible, but I'm willing to live with that to have a go. Now, if it all goes catastrophically wrong and I ruin the doors, the good thing is I'm putting windows in the doors. Doors can be taken off. I can go down the scrapyard, buy a replacement door, there are enough of these vans around, buy a replacement door and stick that on. It might be the wrong colour or something, but the point is it's not irreparable. All the windows are going into doors, the two doors at the back and the sliding doors on the side. Obviously, I hope not to muck it up, but if it's a terrible disaster, it's not irrecoverable. Anyway, let's have a go. The first thing I'm going to do is just give the back of the van a rinse with some water. It will get a proper degrease clean later, but I'll just rinse some general muck off with a bucket of water. In order to try to catch any shards of metal as I drill and jigsaw, I've put all this paper on the inside. I'll also be putting paper on the inside of the hole as I did with the um, roof vent and I'm trying to stop any shards going down this gap because there are little holes at either corner which do drop into the space below so I've just stuffed right down into there some paper which will hopefully stop any shards disappearing down there and then when I'm all finished cutting I will use a magnet to fish all the shards up. At this point, I am, rather alarmingly, ready to drill some holes. I am sweating so much with nerves. I've had to do the old diver's trick of spitting in my mask because it's fogging up with the warmth of a uh, of the sweat on my brow. There's not really any going back now, is there? Having marked off the straight lines between the holes with masking tape, I'm now making up cardboard templates for the shape of the corners, just with a bit of card stuck in the gap there, and then I can transfer that to the other side. Side top left. I've seen numerous people recommend you put some masking tape onto the bottom of your jigsaw to stop it scratching the paintwork. Obviously out of the way of the saw. I think that goes without saying. Okay, here goes. And just like that, 
Well, okay, after about an hour of jigsawing, I have two holes in the van. Two things to note. Firstly, really, really, really do wear eye protection. Those little metal shards really do come spitting back into your face and they're quite hot as well. Secondly, I should have worn ear protection. I didn't think it was so bad when I did the hole on the roof, but that was a lot less cutting. My ears are now ringing from the amount of jigsawing that's taken and I definitely should have had ear defenders on, so that was a silly mistake. I'm now just going to give a little file around some of these edges, tidy up the, uh, the old sharp bit here and there. Now it's time to clear up all those filings. Got a magnet, plastic bag, magnet in bag, wipe over, pick up all the filings, take the bag off and it takes the filings away instead of leaving them stuck all over the magnet. The chippings have now been magneted, brushed and vacuumed and really I don't think there's any more I can do. So now I shall just pop a little bit of hammerite around all those bare edges of the, uh, of the cutouts. That hammerite takes about an hour to dry, so while that happens I can turn my attention to the windows. And what they say is to give the glass a good clean with an ordinary glass cleaner. The hammerite has now had time to dry, so the next thing to do is put on this edge trim. It's a rubber metal U-shaped thing, and you just knock it onto the edge with the assistance, gently, of a rubber mallet. At the end, just use some uh, snippers <clears throat> some blunt snippers are always great oh, oh blimey all right let's carry on oh, here we go there we go Got there in the end. No, that very last bit is not terribly pretty. Right, pretend you didn't see that. I'll do better on the next one. I can cover that with a little bit of gaffer tape and no one will ever know. Well, apart from that tiny tiny little gap down the bottom I'm otherwise pretty pleased with that not bad the trim on this side was actually much harder to do it really didn't want to knock on there were little sticky out bits on the inside which the trim isn't quite wide enough to go over and uh, it just stretched and was awkward and I had to whack it and take it off and put it back on a couple of times but I think it's on. There we go. Told you I'd make a better job of that one. Right, now the fun really starts as we're getting near the point where we actually put the glass on the uh, onto the bodywork. Right, I need to wipe the glass down with this primer and glass activator which comes in a little bottle and a little dispensary thing. Okay. 
you can this stuff the activator primer not primer the activator uh, I think you can put quite a bit on and as I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the uh, the the bond and the primer I'm just going to put quite a bit of this on right that's the glass activator on the window wipe the bodywork with the rem with the remnants of the glass activator I need to do the other window don't I before we do that how long do we allow that to dry for doesn't say Right, I need to swap that with that. This bit I did not think about. Right, a bit more glass activator. I think this is often supplied as a little wipe-on cloth, but for whatever reason it's come as a little brush with a pot in this case. Doesn't matter. Now then, it says, having wiped the black ceramic band on the glass with the glass activator cleaner, wipe the bodywork with the remnants of the glass activator cleaner. This is just the glass activator, it's not the actual primer which you're not supposed to overlap on itself. And I think it's okay with this stuff because this is just the glass cleaner and activator. So I'm fairly confident that I can paint it on as I am doing. Right, that's that one done. Shake vigorously the pot of primer, black lid and apply for two minutes. No, wait for two minutes. Oh no, shake it for two minutes. Right. Okay, shaking this for two minutes. Uh, it's half past two. Right, that is two minutes of shaking. Now, apply the primer to the glass in one continuous motion if possible. All right, well, here we go. Get a good dollop of it on there. And uh, because we don't know quite where the... Uh, ...gunge is going to go on the bodywork. I'm not overlapping. It says don't overlap. I'm very carefully not overlapping. putting distinct, oops, separate paints of primer on here. There we go. And another one. There. Right, that goes on there. Allowed to dry for 15 minutes while also putting it on the bodywork. It's 25, 26 minutes to three. Right, that needs to go there. I need to move that now so I can do the other one. Do the same thing with this one. One continuous motion. I'm not going to the That's the windows done. Now the bodywork needs to be done with that stuff. Well, it's to be applied. Oh, you bugger. Right, I'm making a mess of this, I know. But I have, in effect, 
got my primer on where the, what the hell is clanging? Don't clang, I don't like clanging sounds. Okay, that's the primer on, the paintwork. The gunge goes on there. Gunge, 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 gunge. Gunge, 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 gunge. And then we sort of pray a bit and hope for the best. Right, well that brush can go in the bin. Wait 15 minutes, 26 minus 15. Anybody, 26 minus 15. 11, well done. Pull the end off, remove the backing disc, and damp proof bead, pierce the end, shouldn't have used my scissors. The crucial thing, as I understand it, is to hold the gun at 90 degrees to the surface so that you get this proper little triangle of glue, yeah. rather than it just being a flat bead which you'd have if you were doing sealing. Yeah. And if you get this proper little triangle, then obviously it will touch all points of the glass. I don't think I can do much more than that. So, right, this is where it gets interesting. Um, give that a bit of a wipe over. Now, which window is that? That's a very good question. Yeah. Left window. Let's get the right window held up to the right slot. That one will go like that. Won't it? So that is the correct window. I will grab it with my super sticky thing, hopefully. When I hope so. Now, this is where I'd like you just sort of underneath, underneath. in case of it, in case. falling off. Yeah, okay. No. Just, not, just to catch the glass yeah, rather than anything else. Yeah. Can't quite see what I'm doing. But does that look like it's on the edge to you? Yeah. Now, before we press it down too hard, yeah. I'm going to stand where you are. Okay. Just oh, keep, keep your hands off it, if is you would, it? and just... Now, at this point, yeah, that don't needs need to go. All you need to do is use this bunt. Oh, up a bit. That's okay, a bit. That looks flush with that. Now, at this point, oh. I'm just going to rest my hand on it. You rest your hand on it, thank you very much. We take these tapes. Take that off, and before it finally, finally sets, give it a gentle push all around the edges. And then you mustn't open any doors in the van no. because the air can, can um, pop the, yeah, again. pop it out again. Yeah. That's mostly flush. It's a little bit non-flush there, which is a tiny bit worrying. It sort of sticks out a little, doesn't it? As long as it's glued, I don't think I mind. But the... Right. Those are done there.
It's now two days later and the first good news is the windows haven't fallen off. Also, yesterday there was some brief but fairly torrential rain and I can see no sign of any leaks or water ingress inside the van. So again, that is a bit of a triumph. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with these. If I'm going to be really, really picky, then the right-hand window is positioned ever so slightly over to the right by about two or three millimetres. This one, you see, the edge here lines up perfectly with the edge of the door. This one is shifted over by a millimetre or two and you can just see the edge of the door. But I think perhaps that is being really picky because overall, for a first attempt at doing this, I'm quite pleased. There is one thing though I really do want to reiterate and re-mention. The noise from doing that drilling, I said that my ears were ringing, they were still ringing 24 hours later and it's only today, two days later, that my ears are back to normal. So I've gone out and bought a set of ear defenders, only six quid from Screwfix, 30 dB noise attenuation, and I will be using these without fail when I do the two side windows, which won't be today, that'll be, you know, some later time. But definitely, definitely, if you're going to do this kind of thing for crying out loud, I really did think I'd damage my ears permanently for a while there, so get some ear defenders. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.